Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And this is to make a font bolder. Now, this is Arial, so it can be bolder. But look, what's like, let's see what happens when we bold one and not the other one. Now, we'll make this one yellow. Make our, well, we'll just keep it black and we'll move it down. And then we'll go to object, order, front of page. You can see it. It made it bolder, but it made it kind of in one direction. Uh, like the inside, the outside of the O is almost the same, but the insides are quite a bit bigger. So the way to do that equally, we'll take away the original or the bold one. We'll put the plus key on the keyboard. And this time we're going to, you can see there's no outline. We will right click the mouse and put an outline on this. Hit F12 to bring up the pen dialog. And let's go to 24 points, say OK. Now let's make that one yellow. Well, I have to make them both yellow outside and inside. <clears throat> now if we bring this one down, go up to effect or object order front of page, you can see it made an exact copy of the font, but just bolder. The yellow is the bold, so it's going to be in the same position. Now, really, this is probably more helpful on a font that is not boldable. This is AR Julian. It's not boldable. Let's make it yellow and hit the plus key and then give it an outline. Hit F12, bring up the pen tool and go to 24 points. And now, well, let's actually make this one blue. Now let's take the bold one and put it up top, go up to object, order back a page you can see it made an exact copy of the font it's just well it's because it's the outline but for laser engravers or even printers this is going to print black like that i mean it's going to engrave all black regardless if it's in a uh, a uh, outline or not we can probably go to object no, nope, we can't combine it. We don't have to. I was just seeing if that was an option. Anyway, I hope that was a little bit understandable and hope helped. Thank you for watching.